start your new chapter practical geometry so first topic of your chapter is construction of a circle so today we learn how to construct a circle using compass when radius is given so suppose we have to construct a circle of radius 2 cm we have to construct the circle of radius 2 cm so first step will be measuring the compass as 2 cm so we will take scale and the pointed tip of the compass this pointed tip will keep it on 2 and tip from here till this zero this will be 2 cm now for constructing a circle what we will do we will mark a point as the center of the circle now keep this pointed tip on this point and draw it in 360 degree like this this is your circle of radius 2 cm now from the center of the circle to its circumference we will draw a line and this line is known as radius so keep it like this and draw a line this is known as radius of the circle and the radius in this circle is 2 cm and this is center of the circle let's name it as o now i think it is clear how to draw a circle with the given radius now the next topic is line segment suppose we have to construct a line segment of length how much length 2.5 cm 2.5 cm we have to construct a line of length 2.5 cm so now first step while constructing a line segment with the help of compass is first we'll draw a line of any length there is not fixed measurement of a line so we'll construct a line like this so this is a line now we have to construct a line segment of 2.5 cm so what we'll do as you know that in line segment end points are fixed so we'll fix an end point suppose we take a point here point as a now next will be opening a compass to the length of 2.5 cm so how we'll do that you'll take your scale and see after this two the small small lines are here we count it as 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 and this bigger line in the middle is known as 0.5 so we have to take the measurement 2.5 so again on this line you'll keep your compass and open it till zero like this so it is of 2.5 now what you will do next now from point a keeping this pointed part on this a like this you will cut an arc on the given line like this now this point where this arc is meeting a line will be point b and length of ab will be 2 0.5 cm i think now it is clear how to construct a line segment using compass now the important thing after construction is writing the steps of construction so how do you write steps of construction same as you have drawn you will write it down in the form of steps as in the formation of this line segment our steps of constructions will be what you have done step 1 will be constructing a line name this line is l so you will write construct a line l and mark a point a on it this was our first step now second step in second step you will write place the compass a and cut the arc of 2.5 cm cutting the line at point b 
Now third step will be now AB is the line segment of required length. This is the way how you will write steps of construction and these are very important while doing construction. Now a third topic in this chapter is copy of the line segment. So in this we will make a copy of the given line segment without measuring it. So what we will do the first step will be constructing a line segment without any measurement. So we will construct a line segment here using this ruler and pencil. So this is a line segment let us name it as M N. Now our next step is we have to construct a copy of this given line segment without measuring it. So what we will do now see as we have done here we will construct a line. Now we will construct a line. Now what we will do here we have to construct a line segment that is copy of this line segment without measuring it. So we will what we will do we will take a point let us name this point as P. P. We will take a point let us name this point as P and now as in this construction we have opened the compass while measuring it from scale now here we have to not measure it from scale so we will measure it from the given line segment place it on the one point and open it till the second point of the given line segment now same as same step will be followed keeping this pointed part on this point we will cut an arc like this so now the arc and the line meeting here it will be a second point of line segment let us name it it is Q. Now the length of MN and PQ will be same. Now our next topic is how to draw a perpendicular using compass and ruler. So what you will do the first step will be drawing a line segment. So the first step will be drawing a line. So let us draw a line using ruler and pencil. This is a line. Now we have to draw a perpendicular on this line. It may be given at how many distance you have to measure or not also. So let us name a line as L. And suppose we have to draw a perpendicular from this point and name let us name this point as M. Now the steps for construction of perpendicular is what you will do first take a measurement. Now it is not specific that how much measure you have to take. You can take a small measurement on your compass like this. Now what you will do keep this pointed part on here the given point like this in R. Now see this arc is joining the line at two points here and here. One is the starting point and one is the point where the arc ends. Let us name them as G and H. Now what you will do how you will construct a perpendicular. Now take your compass and put it on this point. And take a measure more than this point, this M point. We have taken it. Now put an arc like this. Now take with the same measurement, put your compass here on the starting point. And cut the previous arc like this. Now you can see that these two arcs are intersecting here. So we will name this point as R. Now join this R to M. So this is the perpendicular to line L. Hope it is clear how to draw a perpendicular. Now next is perpendicular bisector. 
Now bisector here means cutting the line segment into equal parts. So what we'll do first we'll construct a line segment. So you take your ruler and pencil and construct a line segment. Let's name this line as AB. This point is A and this point is B. Now for perpendicular bisector what you will do. Place the pointer of your compass on the one point and take more than half of this line. More than half. So by guess you will take this. Keep your compass here and more than half. So the, it looks like more than half. Yes. So now what you will do. We have kept a compass here. We will mark an arc on upside and second arc on downside of the line like this. Now with the same measurement you will not change the size of your compass. Put this pointed part on B point and cut your previous arc like this and same as down one arc. So they are not cutting so let's increase the size length of our arc like this. Now we have got two points where they are intersecting this and point this. Now we will join them using a scale. Now this line segment let's name it as M N. Now this line segment is perpendicular bisector which means that it is dividing the given line in two equal parts. Given line segment in two equal parts. So let's measure it to check whether it is C. The line segment is of 6 and perpendicular bisector is passing from 3. So perpendicular bisector divides the line segment into equal parts. Now next topic is constructing an angle. So today we will learn how to construct some basic angles using compass. So we will see some basic angles on the same figure. So let's construct them. So first step will be drawing a line segment using ruler and Pencil. So let's draw a line segment. So this is a line segment. So mark the points. Let's name this point as A and this point as B. Open your compass to a certain length like this and put it here on this point A and draw an arc like this. John, now from this point, this point, let's name this as O. Keep your compass on this O point and cut the arc like this. Now, this point, this will be our 60 degree. How? We'll construct a line from this point till here, from here, like this. So this is the angle 60 degree. Now the length of the compass is same as before. What we will do now keep the pointer here and cut an arc like this. Now this will be your 120 degree. Join it using a ruler from this point. So this is 120 degree. Now next we will see 30 degree. 30 degree is the angle bisector of 60 degree. So this is 0 degree and this is 30 degree. So we will draw its angle bisector. Now from here let us take some bigger length like this. Now cut an arc like this. Now from this 60 degree keep your pointer here and cut the previous arc. Now this point. Now we will draw a line from here to here. Now we will join this using a ruler and 
pencil like this. So this is 30 degree. Now next 90 degree. For 90 degree we will draw a bisector from 60 and 120. So keeping our compass here we will draw an arc. Next from this point we will cut this previous arc. Now we will join them using a ruler. And this will be perpendicular that is 90 degree. It must pass from the center, this point where they are intersecting each other. Next topic is copy of the given angle without measuring it. Let's draw an angle first. Name this angle as this O, B and A. So, first draw a line. Let's name this line as M, N. Now, from here, this O point will construct an arc. Now with the same measurement from M point, we will construct the arc. Now next after constructing the arc, what we will do, we will measure it from this point. Let us name it as G, where this arc is cutting line OB and this as M, where this arc is cutting line OA. So, from G to M, we will measure it like this, GM and with the same measurement from this point, we will cut this. Now, from this point and this point, we will draw a line joining them. So, now this angle is exact copy of angle AOB. That is angle ZMN is exact copy of angle AOB. I hope that everything is clear to you how to construct circle and line segment, copy of line segment, construction of angles, copy of angles without measurement. So if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And also click the bell icon so you get the notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.